Hello and welcome to our coaching discussions. Today we're going to be talking about muscular anatomy and we're going to be talking about muscle fibers. Muscular anatomy, a muscle is a group of muscle tissues which contract together to produce a force. Muscles are, cons are consists of fibers, many, many fibers uh, surrounded by protective tissue, all bundled together. And so this contraction occurs and you get a much shorter muscle and then a lengthening occurs and you get a much longer muscle. When we think of a muscle, we think mostly of skeletal muscle and that's what we're going to focus on today. So what I want to, you to envision right now is I want you to envision a live chicken versus fried chicken. All right. So we're going to start with a live chicken right now. Think about a live chicken. He's walking around pecking or she's walking around pecking at the ground all day for worms. All right. That's pretty much most of the time frame, most of the activities that they're going to be doing. All right. And then you let the dog out. The dog runs at the chicken and the chicken tries to run away. It's flapping its wings furiously. It's creating a lot of commotion. Those are its two main activities, walking and pecking at the ground and having a furious tantrum with the dog. Then I want you to think about fried chicken. All right. We have drumsticks. We have the breast. We have thighs. We have wings. All right. We have all these different pieces. I do want you to focus on the legs. Think about the legs. And I want you to think about the breast. All right. So we have the breast and the legs. We're going to attach these two activities to those type of meats. When we talk about the legs, we're usually talking about dark meat. When you open up that fried piece of fried chicken, it's usually darker. When you open up the piece of fried chicken for breast meat, it's normally lighter. So you have this light meat, white meat versus dark meat. So we're going to talk about those two things. The leg, all right? It's dark meat. These are the muscles that these chickens are using to walk around and peck at the ground all day. That is one type of muscle fiber. Then you have the breast meat. The breast meat is white meat. The breast meat, this is the type of meat that the chickens using to try to run away and flap away from the dog. So you have this furious energy being created using the breast meat, the breast muscle. And so that is the white meat or the light meat. So that is a whole nother type of muscle fiber. And we're going to talk about those two situations in the type of muscle fibers that all humans have. So the first skeletal muscle fiber we have is type 1 muscle fiber. Type 1 muscle fiber, we have slow twitch or it's the dark meat. We also have it is also the endurance muscle fiber. It's the primary muscle fiber that's used above two minutes of maximal effort. The other type of muscle fibers are primarily used below two minutes of maximal effort. Type 1 muscle fiber is aerobic, means it uses oxygen. It uses many blood vessels. A chicken pecking at the ground all day uses a lot of type 1 muscle fiber. This is for you. You'd be using it in a marathon race, sitting all day, walking, a 30-minute swim, or even a one-mile running race. So it produces some energy, and a much longer period of time is being used for type, with type 1 muscle fiber. Then the opposite extreme. We have type 2X muscle fiber, also known as type 2B muscle fiber. This is something called fast twitch muscle fiber, or the white meat. This is the breast meat. This is your sprinting muscle. This is the primary muscle fiber below 30, min 30 seconds of maximal effort. So your all-out sprints, your maximal lifts are used, used to type 2X muscle fiber. This is anaerobic muscle fiber. This means that it's producing a lot of energy without oxygen. So it does not use oxygen primarily for energy, and that's why it's called anaerobic. It does not use oxygen. It has fewer blood vessels than the dark meat or the type 1 muscle fiber, hence why it's white versus dark. 
The dark, there's more blood. The white, there's less blood. This is where your chicken is panicking and getting away from the dog. Loads of power, loads of energy, and create it all in a short period of time. You have one more subclassification of type 2X muscle fiber, or type 2 muscle fiber is called type 2A muscle fiber. Type 2A muscle fi fiber is largely defined as fast twitch anaerobic muscle fiber. Uh, this is your 800 meter running race. This is your 200 yard swim sprint. This is where you do as many push-ups push as you possibly can, as many pull-ups as you possibly can, your body weight exercises, your hi higher uh, or lighter weights, and you're pushing and you're burning, your muscles are burning. That's your type 2A muscle fiber at work. So for all intents and purposes, type 2A muscle fiber is pretty much, is very much in between type 1 and type 2X muscle fiber. So to give you that idea, it is more, more defined as fast twitch, and it lives in the anaerobic category. So obviously you can't do push-ups forever, and that's why it's anaerobic. You're not using oxygen, and so eventually you'll need rest to be able to replenish uh, that anaerobic system. But for the tense and purposes for what we have here, we're in between type 1 and we're in between type 2X. So this is how it's broken out. Type 1, type 2A, type 2X. Um, with their categorizations. So think about how it progresses from the endurance of type 1 to the maximal efforts of type 2X. In summary, dark meat versus light meat. Dark meat is more for higher volume. So your type 1 muscle fiber much used for much higher volumes. Light meat is used for more intensity higher intensity, higher speeds, higher, um, heavier weights. So you have that type 1, type 2. Uh, type 1 is aerobic muscle fiber, whereas type 2 is anaerobic muscle fiber. And then there is a difference between type 2A and type 2X. Type 2X is between 0 and 30 seconds of maximal intensity. You're using type 2X muscle fiber versus type 2A muscle fiber, which you're using between 30 seconds of intensity and 2 minutes of high intensity. After about 2 minutes of high intensity, type 1 muscle fiber starts taking over as the primary use and the primary muscle fibers that are being used for energy. So thank you for sh showing up, taking a look. Uh, we will meet you in the next discussion.